I love that. And, and there, there's, listen, uh, you know, uh, Ashley uh, Cash out, mm -hmm. out in your area. Yeah. And I know she had been talking several years ago about the same problem that you faced with the competition in the mm -hmm. uh, Dallas Fort Worth area. And yep. uh, she found, found the same way. She was appealing to uh, seniors where their interest wasn't in the immediate capital gain. It no. was more of, I'm having to move on. Is there a way that I can uh, sell this home, mm -hmm. possibly own or finance it, and then not have to deal with the uh, immediate capital gain? And then if something happens to me later, uh, the, the payments would go on to my heirs. And mm -hmm. uh, th those are niches that the vast majority of uh, high performance wholesale companies or fix and flip companies, uh, they don't tap into this. They're either that transactional, I'm either going to get you or I'm moving on to the next one. And, and, and the, what baffles me is they try to like focus on this whole millennial vibe when the largest pool of homeowners and home buyers are 65 and older. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. It's yeah. I, I mean, you know, can you make money doing trans, you know, there's two ways to get deals, transactional and relational, you know, a transaction. The reason a transactional minded person doesn't do what we do one could be that they just don't know about it, but mostly it's because they're transactional minded. They don't give a shit about people. They're just focused on making money and people are an unnecessary evil that get in the way of making money. And some people just feel like that. That's fine. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm not judging them. That's up to them. It's just, I never felt like that. I always felt, I always felt like my strength was the relational part and I was a teacher. So I like teaching people stuff. I feel like I'm helping them. If I, you know, I took care of my grandma for about 15 years. Um, she took care of me. So we kind of switched, took turns. Sure. And, um, and you know, the bottom line is like, I was that person for her when she would get reverse mortgage offers and grandpa died in 87 and she lived almost another 25 years on her own. And wow. so, you know, she would get all these offers from all these people trying to sell her stuff and they acted like they were trying to help her, but she wasn't stupid. You know, she mm -hmm. might've only, you know, she had to learn English, you know, when she was probably like five or six, she learned English. She never really went all the way through high school or anything like that. Grew up on a farm, but she was smart. People can figure out when you're trying to help them or when you're trying to just help yourself. And so you don't even have to say anything. They'll figure it out. It's a feeling. It comes through. You know, it's about your intentions. And so people whose intentions is just to churn through as many deals as possible and make money. They're not a good fit for our program and that's okay. They, they're going to do fine what they're doing and it's all good. But if you, you know, the intention is really what it comes down to. 